percent. Right there's the gallery page, and we're going to use a component, and I'm going to put the component component on the content layer. And I forget which one it is. I believe it's a UI loader. Let's see here, loader. I believe it's a loader. So let's drag that out to the stage. Notice that once you do this. I have to zoom in and take a look at it. Once you drag, um, okay, user interface, loader, that doesn't seem like the one that needs to go in there, but we're going to have to check that out. MX controls loader, and say here, um, auto load true, content path. All right, well, we'll just We'll just keep it for now. Maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong. Okay, so there it is. There's loader. We'll just keep it for now. We'll see if it's right or wrong. And what I wanted to point out to everybody was, as soon as you do this and you drag a component into your onto your movie, into your stage, it automatically gets put into your library. So now when I have my library, you can see, let's see if we can find the components in here. There's the scroll bar component in my library. And this... Um, uh, video. Now let's see here. Where's the other one now? Loader. There it is. There it is. It's a uh, special. I, don't, I think that's old, so we'll have to double check. I don't know if that's going to work. But um, it's also in my library, so I wanted to mention that. So now what we need to do is we need to go to Photoshop and we need to make some images to use for this assignment. So I've got a few images here that um, I'm going to play with. Um, I'm going to open up some some of these images. All right, there's another one and another one. Okay, so there's three images. And what we need is we need to size them correctly. So first of all, if I go to image, image size, I see I'm using Photoshop that this is way too big. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that resample image is on. And I'm going to make the normal size that I want for the photo. And I'll say, let's maybe make it uh, 400 pixels wide, okay? And 72 resolution. When I change this to 72, this dropped down to 96. Whoops. So I'm going to change that back to 400 wide, okay? So that's 400 and uh, resolution here, 72. So I'll click OK. And there's my new image. If I zoom in to 100%, it'll show me how big it's going to be on the screen. Okay, so that's how big it would be on the website. It's not very big, so I'm going to do an edit, undo image size, and try again. Image, image size, and I'll change it to, I'm just going to hit resample image here, make sure that's checkmarked, change that to, uh, change this to 72 first, and then change this over here to 500, and click OK, and I like that better. That would be the size of the image, okay? And that's a little bit better. It's maybe still a little big, so I might change it again. Image, image size, change that to 460, okay? I'm going to click OK. Now my image is 460 wide. And what I'm going to do is do File, Save for Web and Devices. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG, uh, quality medium, 52 quality. And hit save, and I'm going to call this one image one underscore medium sized M MED. Okay, so I'm naming it image one underscore MED for medium dot JPEG. All right, I need to make sure I save it in the right folder. And what I've done is um, go to my classes here, Flash Web Design. Okay, and this is week 11, and inside here you'll see I have a folder for my images. So I've made a folder for images. So notice that it's in a folder called images. And image1 underscore medium dot JPEG. Great. Now I'm going to make my thumbnail. Now I'm going to say image, image size, and I'm going to change the resolution to 100 wide. So now it's 100 wide, height is 75, and I'll click OK. That's how big it's going to be. This will be just for the thumbnail. I'll do File, Save for Web and Devices, 
and I'll hit save and this one will be image one and I'm going to call it thumb. So now I'll have two images saved, one for the big image and one for the thumb.